Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my YouTube tutorials for Native Instruments Massive, I'm Adam. Today I want to talk to you guys about creating an 808 bass. Uh, in layman's terms, a subsign that decays over time. Uh, very popular at the moment in urban music, especially trap, but you do hear it in all genres, um, useful for putting underneath your kicks in anything to beef them up and give them a bit of tonality. So here's my preset here, Coltman 808. I'll just play you a few notes so you can hear uh, what we're going for today. So there you go, you got the rough uh, gist of it. So let's begin, uh, file, new sound. First things first, I do want to stress, please do listen to this tutorial on good speakers or really good headphones, especially as we're dealing with sub bass today. You do need to hear what's going on in the bottom end. So on that note, uh, because we are working with sub bass, what we do need to do first things first is go to the voicing tab and make sure we're working in mono. So let's change this to mono rotate and I like to have it set to legato. Second things, uh, the default preset in Native Instruments Massive does give you a macro by default, it's vibrato, set to macro one, I don't want that, so let's just right click on these, turn them off, and we'll lose that there because we'll be using that in a later date. This is a very simple preset, we only use one oscillator, so we can go through and we can turn off noise, and these filters, and we can turn off our effects here. So as I said, one oscillator, what we want to do is we need to go into our oscillator presets here and select sine square and we change the wet position all the way over to sine. Intensity and amp are good all the way up, which is fantastic. And let's go to pitch and we'll pull it all the way down to minus 24, which is two octaves. So I'm just going to play this uh, so you see where we're at at the moment. So as you can hear, we've just got a very basic sub sign going on. Where it gets interesting, where we start to really craft our 808 sound is with our envelopes. So the first one we want to look at today is envelope 4, which by default controls your amp modulation up here. So let's go into it, envelope 4. And what we want to have, we want to have our de delay here, sorry, all the way down. Attack all the way down, level all the way up. Uh, decay here probably at about quarter past nine, something like that. Level all the way down. These are fine, we're not using these today. And then level all the way down and release is good right about there. So that gives us the basic shape that we want to be working at. But if I play you a note, you can hear what's going on. Very clicky, very short. What we're going to do now is we're going to use macros to give us a bit more control over this sound. So first things first, I want to assign a macro to the attack of the note. So I'm going to grab macro 5 here today. And we'll grab it, and what we do is we click on the number and we drag all the way around to about there. And I'm just going to rename this attack as well. Next, we want to look at the, um, the decay. So I'm going to grab another macro here on decay. Drag it around to about half of the clock face as well. And rename it to K. And then finally release. So I'll grab macro 8 here, put it on the release, drag it around again to about halfway, and rename it release there. And then what we can do is we can start moving these macros around and really like honing on the sound we want. So I'm going to start playing some notes now. And I'm going to be tweaking the macros down here, and you'll start to hear what's going on. So there you go, I think that's a fairly decent uh, so, um, 808 sound there that we've just achieved by using one envelope and modulating three of the parts of the envelope using macros. The next thing I want to do, I do have a couple of other effects going on on, on the Coltman 808 preset which I'd like to show you. Uh, the next one is controlled again by envelope 3. So let's go into envelope 3 and we'll start tweaking it to get the sound that we want. First things first, we have delay at just under 9 o'clock. Attack at about 1 o'clock, let's say. Level's fine the way it is. Decay, around about 3, let's say. Pull the level all the way down. We're not using these again, so that's fine. And then these are about fine where they are as well. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to use envelope 3 to control the wet position and the side chain of our oscillator 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this, pull it over here, and drag it around about half the clock face. The most important thing we need to do now is just take this little tab here and click it till we've got an upward facing triangle because this defines what end of the spectrum we begin our side chain on. And we're going to control this side chain through a macro again. So I'm going to grab this macro one here and just assign it to the side chain. I'm going to call this wet. Wet, there we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play some notes again and then I'm going to move this macro and you'll hear what's going on with the sound. So as you can hear, what it does is it starts to bring in the square wave on the oscillator the more we hold down the note and it gives you a bit more top end, it gives you a bit more of a, of a gritty, raspy sound, which is nice for cutting through on certain sound systems. The final thing that I like to do on my sub bass preset is use another envelope to modulate a click to make our 808 more of a kick sound rather than just a bass. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into envelope one and again, delay all the way down, attack all the way down, level all the way down, decay probably around about nine o'clock, and then the level of the decay all the way down. Again, we're not using these two. Level there and release is fine there. What we're gonna do is we're going to assign this envelope to the sides chain of our oscillator on the pitch side, so here, we drag it over, and we're going to bring it all the way down as far as it goes to minus 64. And I'm going to grab a macro here and assign it to the level of the attack and drag it all the way around so we use all of the level. And then I'll just rename this macro click. And again, I'm going to play some notes now and I'm going to move the macro and you'll hear what's going on. Apologies there, I had the uh, the pitch on minus 64 when it should have been plus 64. Again, I'll just play it here. You can hear what's going on as I move this macro. So there you have it. That is my Coltman 808 preset for Native Instruments Massive. Uh, again, very simple from the offset, but it goes to show you can add lots of different elements and macros to make a preset really exciting and flexible. Hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and that it's taught you something. It's inspired you to go and make your own sounds and your own music. If you do have any comments or questions, please do sound off below. I will do my best to answer all of them uh, and take care.